So I just found out you can be buried in a KISS themed casket. Yeah, if you're a big enough fan, you can spend eternity with the band. And honestly, the more I think about it, the more it makes sense. I mean, is there anything Gene Simmons won't put the KISS logo on? But what's even crazier to me is that over the last 20 years, there have been at least three distinct versions of the casket. And so in this episode of Strange and Unusual Tales, we're gonna dive into the history of the casket, talk about who's buried in one, and if you can still get one today. This is the history of the KISS casket. Basket. Our story begins in June of 2001 with the announcement of the branded caskets, and I really like how KISS highlighted the fact that it can also be used as a giant KISS cooler to keep your sodas and beer ice cold. Gene Simmons explained, why not watch your favorite ball game on TV, invite your friends over, and open the casket to get a drink? Whatever you might think of Gene, you have to give him credit as a genius marketer. I don't know if anyone else has the confidence to sell caskets as a useful collectible to the living. But what I really love is that if you go to the comments of the original news posts on their old website, a lot of folks are asking for an urn with one commenter saying it could double as a wine bottle cooler. Honestly, I'm surprised they didn't sell one back then, but getting back to this casket, the first version looked a lot like your basic casket with a graphic vinyl wrap of the band. It came autographed, but it's not clear whose signatures were on it other than Jean's. The asking price was $4,700, but I doubt that included shipping. It's hard to know if any of these sold, but tragically in 2004, Dimebag Darrell was murdered on stage, and in his will, he wanted to be buried in one. Gene Simmons ended up donating a prototype casket for him, and he was also buried with Eddie Van Halen's original Bumblebee guitar, which is kind of a strange story. His brother, Vinnie Paul, asked Eddie for a replica of that guitar, but he was so upset at Daryl's death, he ended up giving his original guitar. Sometime after 2006, the KISS web store stopped selling this version of the casket, but then in December of 2010, KISS announced a new casket partnership with Eternal Image. They also had brand deals with Major League Baseball, Precious Moments, and Star Trek. They ended up creating a whole line of KISS branded memorial products, including two new casket designs, three less expensive cremation caskets, a KISS Army casket drape flag, and two styles of urns. Even more products were being developed, including prayer cards, candles, and pet urns. But as far as I can tell, none of these were ever made because by the summer of 2012, the company went bankrupt. Then by 2018, Nashville Casket Sales acquired the license to make an official KISS casket. And honestly, theirs is probably the best looking version version in my opinion. And it's this casket that Dimebag Daryl's brother is buried in. Ace Freely said it was weird to see his face on Vinnie Paul's casket when he gave a speech at the funeral in 2018. If you are interested in getting your own KISS casket, as of the taping of this video, they are still available for purchase for around $3,000 without shipping. At the very least, I encourage you to check out Nashville Casket Sales website. They make some incredible custom caskets, including an impressive Ghostbusters themed one. All right, everybody, that will do it for today. Be sure to let me know if you want to be buried in a themed casket or urn. Until then, thank you all so much for watching, but I especially want to thank my members over on Patreon. I'm your Vinyl Geek, and I'll catch you on the flip side.